What's going on YouTube? It's Eric, aka Oakland A's 915, and uh, today I'm going to do a little video recap of, uh, of my spring training trip. Um, unfortunately, we lost a lot of the video footage somehow. Um, a couple of videos of me getting some autographs, but um, hey, could be worse. I mean, at least I still got the autographs, and I still have the memories, and we had a really good time, but um, just to tell you a little bit about it before I uh, before I get into the cards, I want to show you that I got autographed. Um, we got into town Friday night, and uh, we immediately st we immediately stopped at a baseball card shop, and I just wanted to take a look around. Uh, didn't really see a whole lot that I was interested in, so we went we went to the hotel. Well, we checked in, and um, shortly after we got there, I realized that I didn't bring a Bob Melvin or a Matt Williams. <laughs> I was pretty thorough about going over the 40-man roster, about whose cards to bring, and somehow it slipped my mind to uh, bring the manager and the third base coach. So I looked on the internet and it said that the, the uh, card shop closed at 7. So at 6.45, we booked it over to the shop. Um, I started flipping through cards really fast and um, found a Matt Williams in probably less than a minute but um, still on the search for a Bob Melvin which I knew I could have found in the in the in the Giants 5,000 count box but uh, I really wanted to try and get him in, in an A's uniform so uh, shortly after we started we were digging through the boxes um, I realized that uh, the place wasn't closing yet and it was actually not closing till 8 so um, basically my wife and I sat there digging through a 5,000 count box, which, uh, I'm probably going to insert that picture here now so you can, uh, see what we were doing and you can just see kind of, uh, uh how there was tables and uh, a lot of supplies. You can't see in this picture here, but, uh, if you can picture on a, on a different wall, just as high, it was just full of 5,000 count boxes, uh, and there was all a uh, group by team. So there we are looking through a uh, Oakland A's box and I'm trying to find a uh, Bob Melvin manager card. And there's a here's another one. You can see my wife uh, was uh, she didn't know what she was looking for. She didn't know what kind of card. She just knew the name and uh, she went through a whole 5,000 count box, which is pretty cool. And uh, well, didn't find a, a Bob Melvin in a A's uniform, but about a minute before they were closing, I went back to the Giants box where I knew uh, he had some, uh, I knew in the junk wax era he had some baseball cards which picked up the 87 tops, and I ended up getting that autographed the next day. And uh, pretty happy about that because I am a Bob Melvin fan. Um, I've really liked him since day one. He's a great manager. So yeah, that was uh, that was pretty cool. And then uh, so during the A's batting practice on Saturday, I ended up getting quite a bit. <laughs> it was a good day. I also got Ramon Laureano. Very hype about that. Um, we got Dustin Fowler, which I still have high hopes for him. We'll see uh, see if he can. Uh, Make it happen this year. Um, Steven Piscotti. Big fan of Steven now. Had a great year last year. I was pleasantly pleased. Lou Trevino. And then we got Marcus Simeon, who I've always liked at shortstop, but um, I found out he's from the same city as my family is and um, also our friend Nate tops 85401 um, yeah it turns out Marcus Simeon is from El Cerrito California and um, so he and he went to uh, high school in Berkeley went to Cal Cal Berkeley and now he plays for the Oakland A's so hometown hero right there and then we got Chad Pender, 
I like Chad. Hopefully he gets a little more playing time this year, give him a better chance. And then um, Blue Moon Odom was uh, signing autographs at a booth in the front and uh, had to get this card from him. Um, I've met him before, and he is a really nice man. And uh, he'll sit there and chat with you for a while, and and uh, he's just a great guy. Very nice, and uh, just a great guy to talk to you about baseball. So I'll probably show a picture of him right about now with me and him, and, and then we'll come back. Now, I was so hype, I couldn't believe it when... Chris Davis came over to the to where I was at and was able to get his autograph, which uh, I thought this one came out really nice. I mean, it's a nice, good-looking signature. I mean, it looks just like uh, the ones you see on the, uh, the top certified autographs. So, very pleased about that. And um, I would have uh, basically, I, I, I would have been happy if I would have just got. Uh, um, either Chris Davis or Matt Olson or Matt Chapman, if I would have got one of those guys, but I ended up getting Matt Olson as well. So, very happy about that, especially because maybe I'm a little biased, but I think Matt Olson might be my favorite Oakland A right now. So, very happy to get that. And then, so the next day, this was very cool because uh, I ended up getting an autograph of Matt. Matt Williams, and uh, I picked the 89 tops just because of the fact that uh, 89, they went to the World Series, my favorite World Series ever. Hopefully we'll see that again someday because that was just awesome. Have a, a Bay Bridge Battle of the Bay. But happy to get that. And then I saw uh, Cliff Pennington out there and I got to tell him, welcome back. He seemed to like that. He smiled and said thank you. <laughs> Like Cliff, I think maybe uh, he could fit in into a utility role pretty pretty well. And then, uh, then I got a Franklin Barreto, who uh, they are currently trying out in the outfield as well. So we'll see what happens with him. I guess they haven't given up. I guess they're still trying to find a place for him somewhere. But uh, we'll see. And then there's the backup catcher, Josh Fegley, and uh, he was pretty nice. So happy to get that autograph. And then the last one I have, which is really funny because uh, <laughs> I got Mark Kenna. But what's funny about this is because um, he actually walked by me a couple of times and didn't want to sign for anybody. But then um, I'm going to put the video link, video right after this. He um, I actually, after he was done in the game at about the third inning or so, uh, it looked like he was walking into the locker room, and I kind of jokingly said, uh, "Hey, Mark, can you sign a card for me?" And he said, "Sure." So you'll see me kind of trying to scramble and get everything because I totally wasn't prepared for that. But uh, very happy that he signed this autograph. So signed the card for me. So that is all of the. Uh, cards I got, which, uh, oh, I'm sorry, you know, that is all the cards I got, but I did get one more thing, along with uh, Blue Moon Odom. Bert Campanaris was there signing for uh, Ferguson Jenkins um, Foundation, and uh, I was happy to make a donation for that. Got to talk to Campy for a few minutes and uh, tell you he was an extremely nice guy. Got a picture with him, and uh, I was... Uh, I was pretty excited. So nice eight by ten there. I'm gonna get a nice frame for and definitely find a spot. Oh you know what? I do got one more thing to show you. My new uh spring training t-shirt I picked up, which is uh pretty cool. Got the athletics logo in the front with some cactuses and or cacti, whatever you want to I don't know the correct pronunciation. Then on the back, I've got the Chapman and number 26. Chapman mania is definitely in full effect, man. That was uh, pretty crazy. Um, didn't get Chapman's autograph, but uh, you know what? I, I got a lot of autographs. I got Chris Davis. I got Matt Olson, Matt Williams. I mean, I'm just 
very pleased. I think I did really well, and um, we had a really good time. Saw a couple of good games, and uh, actually saw it was kind of bittersweet. Saw uh, Mike Trout and uh, Albert Pujols hit back-to-back -back home runs, and uh, it was cool to see them. Unfortunately, it was against the A's, but uh, it was just in spring training, so <laughs> it doesn't count. But uh, anyways, guys, um, wish I had, uh, I, was, I wanted to do, uh, like I said, I wanted to put more video and pictures up, but we lost a lot of it. So hopefully you guys enjoy seeing the autographs and uh, hearing a few of my little stories. But uh, thanks for watching YouTube, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. You reached it, hun? Got it right here. There we go. I appreciate it, bud. Thank Mark, you. Can you sign a ball too? Thank you, Mark. Cool. <laughs> That's only.